Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, we're gonna be talking about snow removal and we're gonna be talking about pricing. Now, I am very enthusiastically looking forward to putting this video together for you guys. And here's why. I know how hard it was uh, when I got started doing snow removal last year with very limited resources out there uh, on YouTube. But here's what I wanna do. Over the next couple of weeks and months, uh, share as much information as I can with you guys about snow removal and how to do it. All right guys, so if you're new to my channel, I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business so you can go out there and crush it. And today, we're gonna to be talking about snow removal, pricing, and how I did my contracts last year. And quite honestly, how we made some decent money doing snow removal. Now, decent is always relative, right? For me, I'm a solo owner operator. Uh, I've been doing snow removal for about the last seven or eight years, but only with snow blowers and residential uh, clients. So last year, we picked up this whole brand new rig. A lot of you guys have seen videos from times past, and we picked up a couple commercial properties, just like the one behind me. And I'm gonna give you guys exactly how I did it with how we did our residential contracts, how we did our commercial contracts, and how you guys can make money, and quite honestly, more important than that is not get burned along the way. Now, I, I say this with all due respect, almost anybody can go out there, buy a lawnmower and cut grass for a living, no doubt about that. But snow removal is no longer the weekend warrior or the poor man's game. Snow removal, quite honestly, is big money and there's a lot of expenses to it. And you know what, lawn care, you can get bled out with just that slow drip, but snow removal, one or two months, you can find yourself upside down big time with a lot of money owed to a lot of people if you don't do it right. So two things you have to keep in mind when you're looking at snow removal, right? All of our overhead can get pretty expensive. There's the truck, there's the plow, there's uh, the salting if you're gonna be doing all that, which by the way, I don't do any of my own salting. I have a subcontractor, my friend Mike Bedell, he's gonna be doing all that. So if you guys wanna see some subcontracting salt videos, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to catch up with Mike over the next couple weeks and help you guys out with the salting and the uh, ice management side of the business. But for me personally, there was two ways that I tackled my business last year doing snow removal. One was residential contracts and the other one was commercial contracts. Now most of you guys know that last year was my first year buying my brand new truck, my Ford F-250, and then we also bought a Boss 92 DXT plow. Now, here's the deal. I didn't just jump into snow removal. Quite honestly, uh, this video is being recorded early October, and it's right around this time frame where I spent a couple dinners out with my friend Mike Bedell to learn a lot more about the snow removal game. And that's when I decided to go with the different truck instead of one that I originally wanted. Uh, the plow I upgraded instead of going with the one I originally wanted. So I owe a lot of uh, that information to Mike and just all of you guys have uh, given me a bunch of information back and forth. But that being said, I didn't just jump into snow removal personally. And if you guys are considering getting into the snow removal game, I wanna give you a little context of how I got into it and why the way I chose to do my contracts made all the difference. So let's talk about the main three ways you can make money doing snow removal. As you guys see, we're at my commercial site, one of them, that is, because we picked up two more, which is really cool. Uh, this is the Sherwin-Williams uh, property. A lot of you guys have actually seen me here on snow late night, watch a lot of the videos in the past. I'll try to link some of them at the end. But with commercial contracts, it can be uh, a little crazy, a little intimidating if you don't have good contracts. So what I did personally with snow removal, and I learned a lot of this from you guys, was I set up my, my residentials with prepay and my commercial uh, accounts with per push. And per push is, and there's a lot of stuff you can go through the rabbit hole with right here, but with commercial, what I did was we had a base rate to come on out and plow snow, and that was uh, anywhere from one and a half inches to four. And then every two inches after that, we had a tiered system where the price went up about 10% more for every two or so inches we we're plowing. And I think in our contract, it was every 10 inches or more, we went by the inch with a flat rate. So if it was 37.50 per uh, inch and we got 10 inches, it was $375 for a push. Now, here's what I will say. The residential side of things, a lot of you guys know that I had about 40 or 50 residential accounts that I was doing snow blowers with over the years before I even got started with this plow truck. A lot of you guys know this is my 2017 Ford F-250. We got the Boss uh, hookup up front that you guys can see down below where we have our 9.2 DXT blade. We're gonna have to pull that out here in just a few weeks. Hopefully not too soon, right? But we'll have to pull it out before you guys know it. 
And what I did was I already knew that we had about 10 to 15 grand of uh, snow removal lined up with our residential accounts. And so here's how I did the residential accounts. Uh, all of my uh, folks that I signed up, uh, which I've come to learn that my prices were a little low uh, over the years, thanks to all of you guys. Like I said, YouTube is a two-way street, so thank you for all of your guys' coaching and help. Uh, but what we did last year, for example, was $250 for a seasonal contract prepay for residential. And here's the mental math that I want to give you guys. Here's how I figured some things out. If we had uh, 40 accounts at 250 bucks, that was 10 grand. And back uh, last year, our monthly bills, let's say for the household, were about $2,500. So as you guys can do that mental math, we had about four months, December, January, February, March, to take care of all of our bills just with our residential uh, accounts. And that way we had that safety net income. Now for all of our commercial stuff, obviously that was all extra credit and that was all gravy. But the third way to make some extra money doing snow removal is by doing the one-time pushes. And quite honestly, at $40 a pop to knock out somebody's driveway, which takes 10 to 15 minutes, that kind of stuff added up as well. So I took a very uh, conservative, I'll call it a hybrid approach to running my solo owner operator, uh, lawn care landscaping business doing snow removal. So like I said, for me personally, I had all my residential contracts for prepay, and then I took all my commercial uh, profit as just extra credit was just gravy. Now, by the way, you can do uh, extra jobs and extra work in the winter. You can do construction, you can do this, you can do that. You can even have a, another nine to five job, do whatever you wanna do. But for me personally, I found having a hybrid system, which I guess is gonna be my question to you guys. How do you guys run all of your contracts. In fact, let me do this. At the end of this video, I wanna leave a, a video that Stanley Durmonkey just recently did because he goes into depth about everything that I'm talking to you guys about. And if it kinda of sounds like the same thing that I'm saying, I got it from him, not the other way around. In fact, uh, watching his videos was instrumental to me getting started in the snow removal game, like I said earlier. But that's what I'm kinda of curious is what you guys are doing with your contracts. Are you guys run a more hybrid system or do you guys do more residential with per push, per seasonal contracts, commercial, per push, or per seasonal contracts. For me personally, I just didn't want to get bit. I said it earlier is that with uh, doing snow removal, uh, it's expensive. And I'm not even talking about the ice management side. You got $60,000 trucks, $8,000 plows. And you know what? You can find yourself upside down big time if you don't watch your costs and know what your overhead is with the snow removal side of the business. Now, here's what I did find out, is that I can probably take on twice as much snow, whether it's residential and commercial, than I did last year. In fact, we've already have three commercial clients this year instead of the one, uh, and they both pay very well, as good as this property or more, which is a good thing. And then number two, uh, like I told you guys earlier, we are no longer gonna do $250 for a driveway uh, and the sidewalks for the season with unlimited pushes. We're doing uh, three and a quarter to 350 for all of our driveways. I know some of you guys get four, 450. By the way, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are getting uh, for the nicer subdivisions with the unlimited pushes. Uh, by the way, some people are different. Some of you guys do per push and you just charge as you go, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. Again, no right or wrong answer. For me personally, what I wanted to do was make sure I had my bills paid number one and had the gravy train number two. Residentials with the prepay, I, I could just budget out uh, how much I needed. If your bills are $10,000 and you had four months, that's $2,500 a month. At $250 each, you know you need 40 accounts. It was a really simple math game to me. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about leaves and how to charge for leaves, but we'll get to that because right now, uh, early October and even from September, you gotta start thinking snow removal because those contracts start getting signed right now. So we'll get to leaves here in just another week or two. Can't wait to do all that. The season's gonna be changing. Here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm gonna leave a couple of videos here that you guys can check out. Some of the videos that I learned from, from Stanley Dirt Monkey in the past, I'll leave a playlist. And like I said earlier, leave me a comment down below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you guys do a residential prepay or commercial prepay? Do you guys do a hybrid system with residential prepay and commercial a la carte? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new and we'll catch you guys on the next one.